welcome to this part 2 uh, of mechanics which we have named as a strength of material though for us um, it is just a part of the course of mechanics. Uh, but most of the engineering colleges they, they teach um, this full thing as two components first thing as uh, mechanics and the second part uh, as strength of materials. So that is how the name strength of material has been given to this portion. Now uh, to, to give you a brief idea about what we are going to study or discuss in this um, portion or this uh, second part of mechanics. Um, uh, as opposed to the previous one where we dealt with only rigid bodies and now this uh, segment will deal with or this portion will deal with slightly flexible bodies, flexible bodies which are little bit flexible, not completely rigid, not completely flexible like jellies or flowing water or something, they are little bit um, for example, this uh, ruler, okay. So, this is not very rigid, I can bend it like that. So, so such things we are going to discuss about. And uh, if um, I, I would like to divide this full thing into four major types of deformations. Um, which a body may undergo in their pure forms okay and and then those are the topics of discussion in a very broad way and deformation because we are talking about flexible bodies little bit flexible now those um, deformations or type of deformations are the first one is like um, suppose we have a body like this and we apply um, say a force equivalent opposite force like this so that we want to pull or if the force is negative if we want to push it so in a there is the simplest of uh, deformation which uh, one can think of by pulling or pushing a body okay so this uh, we will termed as say sorry um, say pull or push sorry and that we are doing in an axial way we are taking a rod for example I was giving you the example of this ruler right so it is quite intuitive what I mean by pulling this thing uh, though it is so stiff that I am not able to see any perceivable elongation okay but I can uh, imagine what I mean by pulling or pushing this thing okay so such kind of the simplest uh, deformation and if this is completely not rigid then it will have some slightest elongation uh, which we can maybe uh, do it like that both side I can show so like that so it will be elongated and uh, second type of deformation which we will deal with is that of uh, twisting okay suppose we have um, again the basic block I will draw exactly in the same way for example this but the force which we are applying now uh, will be of the type of um, say the torque a twisting effort is being applied for example if I again take the example of this ruler so I will twist it are you able to see this so so this is what I am trying to do I am trying to twist it okay not the pull one but the twist one you see this so this is the type of uh, and when sorry what am I right so if I say this is twist uh, the technical name uh, in this case I will call this maybe say axial loading and in this case the technical term will be say torsion okay but uh, in English we can say twisting this is pull or push okay 
and then coming to the third one oh uh, okay before we do that uh, shall i show at least something how it will deform for example if we had uh, lines drawn on this body so now they will be say you know will become something like this so okay so they will twist like that okay and uh, then coming to the third one um, third one again i'll draw this see um, i'm drawing this from the side view in fact uh, here i wanted to actually draw a cylindrical um, structure hmm, an axisymmetric one and this could be any uh, cross sectional area so we will see why those assumptions are important to study about them in their simplest forms okay but but for now you don't have to worry about that so they are just some bars like that and again uh, so if i have this um, you can think of even all these things are this ruler only okay no issues so then the force which i am going to apply force or effort i should tell now this is a moment which a, a bending moment okay we are trying to bend so uh if i take this example so it's like this i am trying to bend this okay i am not trying to twist it i am not trying to pull it but i am trying to bend it okay so the the effort is uh the bending and the technical name also in this case is same okay i am trying to bend it bend it and 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 then um if i try to draw the deformed shape maybe something like this will be there okay so something like that it will bend and then the fourth one which uh, is again this type of a thing but see here either a pull or a push was being used but in this fourth one only a push will be there sorry this is okay okay now the force has to be that of um a push okay but then under this push the object is not getting compressed as was in the case here but in this case it will become it will take something like you know uh maybe okay so this thing is called buckling okay so it uh buckles so buckling is the thing with the deformation the name of the deformation is that it's buckling or it buckles now so these are the major four types of deformation uh, we are going to study in this um, full subject of strength of material um, yeah and, and some of some books are named actually mechanics of material some are strength of material uh, doesn't matter uh, so so these are um, the primary things and the uh, the 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 flow that we will take uh, is first i will uh, uh, discuss these all these things in their pure forms okay pure loading of axial pull or push pure twisting pure bending and then pure buckling okay and then uh, we can uh, look at say maybe uh, combination of any or many of these uh, types of uh deformations acting on the same body okay um, so so that's how we will see um but then to discuss about these kind of deformations even in the uh, purest form uh, we will uh the main ingredient uh is the concept of stress and strains okay so i'll say uh, in terms of stresses 
n strains okay so these are our primary uh, um, in a way uh, mathematical objects in a way or physical parameters uh, through which we will discuss all of them and because these are different types of deformations uh, different types of stresses also and different types of strains also will come into picture which we will discuss slowly but the major point which i want to make here in this introduction is that uh, as opposed to the the first part where we were concerned with vectors if you uh, uh, um, remember I, I i told that the major takeaway is that we will do everything by using vectors and if you want that comparison uh, for this um, portion then here we are going to discuss everything in terms of tensors okay though um, we will not formally use tensors in this uh, because these are uh, the simplest of cases which we are going to discuss so there the actual strength or the power of tensors will not be required but uh, i'll keep on uh, referring um, to tensors um, at, at every um, point so that uh, you can see that when you go to more general conditions what type of mathematical objects will be required and uh, how to um, in fact in a way um, uh, imagine them that what type of mathematical objects will be uh, the tools which will be required for uh, uh, studying or analyzing deformation in more general situations so so that that's the brief introduction about the full course so uh, so we will start with in a way the this part the axial loading because uh, uh, all of you have studied this in a way um, many of the things you have studied in your 12th standard so we will start with this and then before entering into these three uh, topics we will get into the the detailed concepts of stresses and strains and we will define the the stress and strain tensors and then we will come to discuss all these things okay and so that's the whole uh, process which we will uh, go through okay so so with that I'll, i'll stop this introduction and see you in the next uh, segment with uh, axial loading see you then